Hello, I'm Steve, and as usual, we'll be going through one of the top web hosting providers out there. Today, we'll be talking about iPage, so let's get going. I like the homepage because I have all the information right there, it's very clear, very straightforward, and apparently they're adding on a lot of freebies in here, which is really, really good. From the start, I can see that they have a really attractive price with a very attractive anytime money back guarantee offer. Now these guys have one package to which you can basically add on tons of things. So it's good in case you want to, you know, build up whatever it is you're buying. The price we're seeing advertised right here, it's three fifty a month. That's a really, really good price. And once we look at the offers these guys have, yeah, it's really good. Let's go into some detail and check out the features that iPage offers. I love the unlimited, unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited databases. These guys offer you a bunch of tools uh, when it comes to design and programming your website. And I love, again, how they present the information with that For the Geeks tab. In terms of technology, well, you have all the scripts and then you have your basic content management, FTP access, everything looks pretty good. I really love all the e-commerce features that these guys have for us. And I also like how they put so much emphasis on their email tools. So now let's go with support because this is something that for me is really important and it's something that I don't care what the website says, I want to test it for myself. So first let's try out the chat. Now I have all these questions um, at the beginning, which I guess help if you're already a customer, but in my case, well, it's just a little bit overwhelming to see all these questions. Now, the chat started at a good timing, but it took a little bit of time to get my answers, and at some point I was even asked for which hosting provider I was inquiring about. I guess maybe they're outsourcing their support service for chat, or maybe it was just bad luck on my part, and some confusion on their side, but mm, that wasn't that good. Now, personally, I've always been more a fan of phone support. I think it's just easier, so I'm going to try that out. Thank you for calling iPage. Everything web made easy. Your call may be recorded for training purposes. Please listen carefully to the following menu options. To reach a sales associate, please press 1. As usual, I'm just going to go with sales. Please hold while I transfer your call to our sales team. <clears throat> and um, we were waiting for someone to pick up. Okay, so phone support is not the fastest, however they were pretty helpful. I asked some questions about their control panel, their design tools, and they were really helpful in trying to get the answers for me. All in all, I have to say, support is not the greatest. Now, something that might maybe compensate that for uh, some of you is the fact that on their homepage they have a system uh, notices section in case there's any major thing to communicate to all customers. They have a pretty cool help search engine which is good and um, a full set of video tutorials which are also good. To me it doesn't really compensate for support not being the best but you know you have those resources to work with which is always welcome. Okay, so as usual, let's try the sign-up process for these guys. As always, just uh, any domain for testing purposes. I like that it's clean and straightforward. You can choose to pay for one or two years. The thing here is you don't get a, a discount. You don't get a best price for signing up for longer. Now here's uh, something else to be careful of, is that um, these guys have a bunch of things you can add on to your basic package. You might need these things, that's really up to you. What I'm not a big fan of is that a lot of these options are pre-selected in the form, so 
you know, if you're not careful, you go from 30, $42 for the whole year to 76 um, So just make sure if you decide to go with these guys to really check only the ones you need and uncheck the ones you don't. So far we can say about iPage that uh, it's a really good package. You have a very good offering for a reasonable price. Now the support in these tests we ran was not the best. The answers on the phone were good, it just took a little bit more time than I would have hoped for. Sign up process is clean and fast. I'm just not too sure about all those add-ons. Hosting review has obtained a demo account for us to test the control panel at iPage. So this is not your standard C panel. This is actually a control panel called VDEC, which might get a little time getting used to. The one thing in particular is that you will not find all of your resources right then and there in the home page. You actually have to click through sometimes several times in order to find what you're looking for. The negative side, well, is that, that you have to go through several clicks to find something. The positive side is that everything is neatly organized and the user interface is actually quite friendly and you have uh, lengthy explanations and processes that can help you when you're say, installing scripts or putting add-ons into your website. The other thing is that this control panel, the interface is highly customizable, so you can really make it work for you, which is a good thing. Now, that being said, where is everything we were promised? Well, again, you don't see it right there and there, but you might want to check out the Install Central, uh, because you'll find a lot of the scripts and everything there and you might also want to check out the activation center because all the freebies are right there. When it comes to the design tools, well, you have all the scripts that you can use for e-commerce and you can use for blogs, image galleries, whatever you can think of. We've covered the basics with iPage, so let's wrap things up. The offer is solid. Tons of unlimited, tons of free stuff, good. I think the key feature with these guys is their confidence. And bear with me here, taking a leap by using a control panel that's not the standard. And I think that shows confidence in their service and being able to support you and afterwards while working with them. So that's something that I like. In terms of price, the starting price is a really good offer now, with all the add-ons, I'm not so sure. But then again, no one's forcing you to take the add-ons. In terms of technology supported, you don't see the applications you would normally see. But don't worry, I don't think there's anything you can't do with these guys. When it comes to the control panel, the question is simple. Do you like to have everything on your desktop so you can click on it easily? or? Do you rather have neatly organized folders and subfolders so you know where everything is? If your answer is the second, then this guy's control panel is really what you're looking for. I was a little bit disappointed with uh, the design tools. You have a very good basic tool for beginners and then <clears throat> I wish there was more. All the self-help options are great, but the live chat and phone support were a little bit of a letdown. In terms of guarantees, you have your standard stuff, 30-day money-back guarantee, which even if standard, is always welcome. To me, the bottom line with these guys is the control panel. If you want to have your things neatly organized, this is for you. But again, the great thing about pretty much any hosting provider is that you can try them out with the 30-day money-back guarantee, right? So. Overall, because of the solid offer and the good pricing without the add-ons, I'm going to give these guys four thumbs up out of five. What do you think? Do you like iPage? Do you like the control panel? Does it work for you? Let us know. Make sure to leave us your comments on your impressions on these or any of the other web hosting providers we've discussed. I am Steve for Hosting Review. Thank you for watching.